Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about Windows 10 versus Windows 11 RAM usage. This is going to be a short video where I will explain the key uh, points to know about each one of these systems. So first of all, to let you know right away, Windows, Windows 11 uh, stock version of it, when you have installed it and it's fresh, will use more RAM than Windows 10. That's something that I'm just going to get out of the way. So as you can see on the left, I have Windows 11 and on the right, I have Windows 10. So I have two windows in Task Manager opened in both Windows 11 and 10. And as you can see on the left, don't mind the Spanish language, it doesn't really matter. So as we can see here, Memoria, Memory. So weirdly, there's 12 gigs of RAM in here for some reason. I'm not really sure why. It's really unusual. It's supposed to be either 4, 8 or 16, but not 12, but it doesn't matter. So as you can see, we have a RAM usage of 4.2 and in Windows 10, uh, we have a 3.1. So out of the box, Windows will already use quite a bit of your RAM. Why? Because, well, Windows needs RAM to function. And because Windows 11 is a newer system, it's packed with more and new features. And of course, naturally, it will use more of your system RAM to function. And Windows 10 being an older version of operating system has less features. Thus, it will use less of your resources. And also, in general, the last thing I will say, uh, Windows will use more RAM the more RAM you have installed. So this uh, screenshot on the right is actually my system and I've optimized it and my system uses less RAM than a average usual person because I've done certain things to make it so. But as you can see, I have 32 gigs, gigs of RAM and basically the more you have, the more your system will use and it's completely normal. So if you have, for example, four gigs of RAM, which is extreme, which is very low amounts of RAM for 2024, it will probably use around 1.5 gigs or something like that on Windows 11 right here. But if you have a adequate or even semi-adequate amount of RAM, for example, eight gigs of RAM, eight is like a bottleneck already, so it's not enough. But the less you, you have, the less your system will use. That's basically the general rule that applies at all times. And uh, yeah, that's basically the difference. To summarize it, Windows 11 just uses maybe one or 1.5 gig more of your RAM than Windows 10. So there you have it, guys. It's also important for gaming. If, for example, you don't have much RAM available in the first place, you might want to just stick with Windows 11 because it will use less in the first place. If you do not mind RAM, you can use Windows 11, of course, but that's how it works, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped, press the like button, leave a comment. If this helped, maybe you have any questions. Ask them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one guys.